What is up YouTube? So today I will be showing you how you can create build pipelines in your Azure DevOps project. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click on create pipelines button. From here, select the use the classic editor option. So now here you need to select your project and your repo. So after selecting the project, you can change the repo if it has multiple repos. So since I'm working with the Angular here, I'll select the front end repo and now I'll select the branch. Okay. So uh, normally uh, this will be your uh, main branch or the branch of your, you know, production or something. So select the main branch, click on continue. And now here you can start with an empty job. So click on the empty job option. Now you can give a name to your pipeline. So I'll just give it a name. After that, basically the agent specification is the OS or the environment in which the pipeline will be ran. So you can select the environment here. I'll just select Ubuntu here. And now click on the agent job one. So these are the commands that will be executed when the pipeline is ran. So you can give it a name. So I can name it like um, Angular Mint Test and Build CI. Okay. So now uh, we have renamed our our agent job. So now let's start adding the commands here. So the first thing we need to do is install Node. So search Node and select the Node Installer tool and add it. Now here we can specify the version of the Node. So I'll be using node 12 here and I'm going to specify the version here as well. So this will install the node environment. Now click on the add task uh, button again. So now we need to install the modules here in the pro in our project. So we'll need to run the command npm install. So search for the npm tool, click on add and here we'll run the command or we will execute the command install in our directory so we need to select our working directory which is the front end okay so i'll just select select my front end directory and it will run npm install in this directory now add another task and now search for ng so basically ng cli is a tool for angular but you will need to import this in your in your as a devops and it is free by the way so it won't cost you any bug so you can include it and now here before building the angular project i need to run the lint test so i'll just type ng lint because this will be the command i will be executing and select the lint command now i'll select the directory of my the root directory of my project and click on ok and you can you can uh, check if you want uh, the logs to be verbose so you can check them and now let's add another task again search for ng and add it now we'll be uh, we'll be uh, running all the tests here so i'll just rename it to ng test and select ng test here again select the root directory of your project click on ok if you want it to be verbose you can check verbose but i don't want it here so i'll uh, i'll leave it uh, unchecked now click on the add task again click on type ng again add it again and now finally we'll be running the ng build command okay so i need to specify my root directory again and this will this will build the project you can check the prod build uh, for the production environment or the development environment okay so if you are if you are building the project for the production you can check this out and now this is pretty much it this pipeline will now install the node environment then install all, all the modules then perform the linter check it will run all the tests then and after each of the task is successful it will run ng build by the way you can specify to carry on even if a task fail like for example if the lint engine lint uh, fails i can 
uh, I can allow it to carry on so I can check continue on error. Uh, so basically this will allow the pipeline to execute even with uh, even with the error in the ngLint task, okay? And this timeout specifies to, to carry on or continue to the next task if this time has passed, it's in minute. So if I type three here and if three minutes has passed, but my ngLint is, has not finished executing, the pipeline will move on to the next task. Also here you can specify uh, the option when to run this task. If I have selected only when all the previous tasks have succeeded, it will only execute when all of these tasks are executed or completed successfully. If any of any single of the task fails, it won't execute this. Okay. So this is pretty much it. You can add more tasks. Like uh, if you want to archive your uh, distribution folder, you can add a new task for archiving it. So archive files, you can add it to you know archive it and publish to artifacts what you can also do is disable this task okay for now so if i select disable this task even though the task appears in the pipeline it won't be executed okay so now if i save and run it now the pipeline has started so now it, it should skip the ng test as you can see here it is not showing the ng test task here so that task has been skipped now it will execute the npm install then ng lint then it will build the project and check out so as you can see here our pipeline has successfully executed without any errors so in the next video i will show you how you can link up this pipeline with any pull request so that before merging any pull request into the master this pipeline has to execute successfully in other case that pull request won't be able to be merged into the master so hope you like the video if you have any queries you can write it down in the comment section and i will try to get back to them thank you for watching